Hello everyone and welcome back to House to Happy Home. Today's video is going to be all about how I created this dresser that's right behind me. This is actually from a standard Ikea Tarva dresser, which only is about $180 from Ikea. When I told my mom about the idea of this dresser, she was all in. She wanted a set for herself. So when we were making these, we were making a six drawer dresser for me another six drawer dresser for her. So both of those were brand new from Ikea. They were in the box. So you can see how it's made from scratch. But also I found a three drawer Ikea Tarva dresser. So this exact thing basically just cut in half. So only one of these sides. And I got that for free on Facebook and that was already put together. So part of this you will see as brand new out of the box for the six drawer dressers and then part of it is already done. So if you have this dresser at home and you want to give it a upgrade, you can totally do it once it's already built. So that's why you will see a mix of both of them. This one is the Ikea Tarva three drawer dresser. So we're gonna take off all of these knobs of the three drawers that we already have. We're going to measure out two inches from the top two inches from the bottom and then three from the sides and make a little rectangle. And then I will use the jigsaw to cut that out. To drill these holes to be able to get the jigsaw into the correct place, I am using a 3 8 inch drill bit and I'm just doing one in all four corners to be able to easily place down the jigsaw in place and to be able to start the straight line immediately. All right, all three drawers are cut out. As I was cutting out those last two, my mom has been over here sanding down these drawers. I'm now moving on to the six drawer dressers. My mom's still over there sanding down the drawers that we have already cut for the three drawer dresser. I'm now starting on those six drawer dressers by doing the same thing that I did to the previous dresser where I measure out two inches from the top and the bottom, three inches from the sides. I did this to all of the drawers for the six door dresser fronts, but something different about these is since these were not put together yet, it kind of turned a little different in our next step of going to actually drill the hole and sawing them. So as you can see, we stacked up some joint compound containers, and then when I started drilling, I needed to stack them up even higher. And so we ended up stacking some paint cans and things because I do not have a saw horse, so this is just my... My best bet for the time being and I did the same step as earlier. I used my jigsaw and the drill to be able to saw out those rectangles that I traced out from the very beginning. One of the sets of six drawer dresser fronts are done so I am going to take my sander and we're going to sand down all of the edges to make sure they're all smooth and even. There are some places where it was like a little jaggedy so we're going to make sure those are all evened out with the sander. All of the drawer fronts are ready to be stained. We already pre-conditioned them so we just used the pre-stain treatment from Verithane and then we have all of the six drawers here. We have three drawers also ready over here so we are just going to go ahead and stain it and we are using special walnut wood stain. the drawer fronts have been stained. It's now time to do the burlap for the inside of the drawers. So what I did was I got one of the drawer fronts and I measured a piece out. We're doubling up the burlap because it is a little bit see-through. So we figured that if we double it up, it would make it more opaque and we would just like the texture better. And now I'm just taking the burlap that we got. We actually got six yards of it. We didn't really measured out too well so we're pretty sure we're gonna have a lot of extra but we got six yards and it already is doubled up so I just lay this piece over the top of 
the big roll and then I'm going to cut it down this way vertically. So this is going to be the length and then we get about three drawers worth per the width of it. Okay, so I pulled out a little strip from the burlap just to make a clean cut and so that when you cut the actual edge it doesn't fray so right here you can see that there's no little strings coming out it's just a more even cut and you don't have little scrap pieces everywhere All of the burlap is cut for the drawers. We cut out 15 pieces because I have a six drawer dresser, my mom has a six drawer dresser, and then she also has the three drawer dresser. And we used about three yards. We bought six yards total, so we have a ton left over. I would say that you would need about a yard and a half to be safe for, if you're gonna double it, for a six drawer Ikea Tarva dresser. So we just started stapling down the burlap and we encountered a problem that my staple gun's pretty like heavy duty so it can only take staples that are five eighths of an inch and bigger so i knew that this was cutting it close we wanted to get quarter inch or half inch for this but we were like okay let's just push it we'll try it'll be okay for five eighths of an inch well um it wasn't okay because here is the staple and there is also the staple. Then that means I had to buy a hand stapler. All right, all of the drawers have been stapled in. They are all done for the front phase. Now the biggest step is to build the actual dresser. That's probably gonna be a, a, another day because this has been a crazy two days journey of doing all of this. If it was only done on one dresser, I think it would have been a one day project a few days later, I decided it was finally time to get the actual dresser put together. So again, this is an Ikea set of furniture, which means there are plenty of parts and pieces to this. You're going to see right here that I was starting to put it all together, and then I had this moment where I realized that I put it on upside down, and I couldn't take out some of the bolts because they were already really bolted in. So had some issues, but ended up fixing it. Of course, that's going to happen. It's Ikea furniture, but... Honestly, if I were to build this again, if I were to like build another one of these to sell, I think it would be quite a simple project because now I know how everything goes together. But I got those drawers put together and I connected the fronts to the actual drawer slides. Although I hadn't stained the actual dresser yet, I decided to put those drawer fronts in so I saw what it looked like. But then I decided to take them out, go in and precondition it. This is the Varathane preconditioning treatment. I used a foam brush and applied that all over. And this is pine wood, so I knew that I needed the treatment to begin with, but you really should do two coats of it because that wood soaked up the treatment like crazy. So now I'm going in with my stain and I'm wiping it off pretty immediately to get a very light finish. The dresser is all stained. I'm just going to leave it outside overnight to kind of air out and then I'm going to put the polyurethane coat tomorrow once I get home from work. The only polyurethane I had on hand was a gloss. So I did a very thin coat. As you can see, I'm doing very long passways of this polyurethane with the foam brush because I didn't want to get it too glossy so that is what it looked like right before it was done drying and this is the completed product once I brought it upstairs. I absolutely love this dresser. I still have to decide on what handle pulls I want for this but I am on the hunt for something perfect and I haven't found that yet so I'm still going to keep searching but for right now this is what it looks like and I cannot believe that it turned out so well. Look at the texture in these drawer fronts. This style of dresser is extremely expensive to buy online and I cannot believe I made it for under $230. So obviously my mom's six drawer dresser came out the same way, but this is what the three drawer dresser looked like when it was all complete. So again, very similar, just in three drawers instead of six. 
So a quick breakdown of what this project actually cost. The dresser itself was $179. After tax, I'm just estimating everything to be around $200 for the dresser. Then I got a brand new can of pre-conditioner for the wood. That was around $6, so we're at $206-ish. I got a new can of stain, which was also $6, so we're at $212. The burlap, we bought a lot of it, but I would say for the one six-drawer dresser, you would need about a yard and a half of burlap. And I got this at Joann's, and it was $4 a yard, so you're running around $6 for the burlap. But since it's never on sale, burlap just never goes on sale, you always can use a 40% off coupon. So I would say you could probably get the burlap down to like maybe $4, probably $3, $4. So now we're at $215. I decided to post this dresser on Facebook Marketplace and a few other pages that are local in the area, as well as offer up. I did this to see if I could make any future sales. I said that I would make one of these exact dressers for someone. It's a custom built dresser and I posted it for $600, just throwing it out there to see how that could work. If I could actually make that much off of one of these dressers, because let me tell you when I wanted a dresser like this and I was searching for one, I couldn't find one for under a thousand dollars, which is absolutely insane. And so I figured maybe 600, maybe someone would buy it. it technically is brand new. It's just a custom brand new dresser. And immediately I got a response saying that she wanted to come pick up this one, which mind you, it's not completely finished yet. There's no handles on it. And she just wanted this exact one today and she was gonna pay 600 for it. I decided against it because I need a dresser and I just started putting stuff in it yesterday and it's already like all the way upstairs. But I decided that in the future, I'm just gonna start making these dressers and selling them on Facebook Marketplace. I've wanted to do a lot of furniture flips and this is somewhat like that to where I can make a lot of profit on this on Facebook and you really still do get a great deal with it. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this Ikea Tarva dresser hack. It is so incredibly easy and it looks so amazing once it's done. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe down below and follow my journey on turning my house into a happy home. Bye.